These wines are very young. They're pretty rough, but they're ready to go to barrels because there's really no point in keeping them in tank anymore. What really softens these wines will be a second fermentation, malolactic fermentation, and that's a bacterial fermentation that changes the malic acid to lactic acid and, and rounds out the mouthfeel. So they're gonna be put in our uh, French oak barrels. They're going down to our barrel shea and starting the long process of aging. It's like a two year process of, you know, uh, the French call it élevage, which is to, you know, bring the wine up and like, almost like educate the wine and turn it into what we think of as the final product. When Don and Molly conceived of this business back in the 60s, it was a very different time and, and they saw it as they were only gonna make about 5,000 cases of wine. And that was maybe someday we'll make 5,000 cases of wine. And uh, so the, the winery was not built for what we're doing now, the original pyramid shaped winery. And we lived with that for a long time and we made a lot of wine in the pyramid, but we knew we needed another place where we could make wine for the next 50 years. And that is the, the barrel shea. It, you see the tanks, but be, beyond the tanks in the work area is, a, is this perfect home for our barrels. That was built in 2012. When we built the shea, we said we need it cold when we want it cold. We need it warm when we want it warm. We need humidity because the humidity slows down the evaporation of the wine. After the wines are fermented and they're put in barrels, they need it to be a little bit warm for the bacteria to do the malolactic fermentation, maybe 60 or 62 degrees, which we have rooms that we can heat for that. We're aging the wines at 53 degrees, which we never could do in the pyramid on a consistent basis. So it's just this perfect place. Bacteria, yeast, any spoilage organism does not really do well at 53 degrees. So we let the cold be the preservative and it preserves the color, the tannin, the fruit aromas and flavors and, and, and keeps this nectar in the wine. The barrels are really a pretty amazing vessel. They look like furniture. There's a porosity to them. They let a very slow integration of oxygen through the pores, between the staves, through the bung, through the wood. And that's the process, part of that élevage is that slow intake of oxygen that allows the wine to mature. It helps the tannin and color knit together. For some wines, we use 100% new wood every year, new barrels for the Pritchard Hill Cabernet. That's the only wine that gets 100% new, but we love the spice components that come from the barrels. We're very specific about where our barrels come from, what forests, uh, how they're made, how long the wood is aged, how they're toasted. So all that is very specific to the style of our wine. Uh, so these barrels are, Incredibly expensive. We use them for about five years. And then at that stage, a lot of them go to, uh, to whiskey production. And then those whiskeys and things actually soak a little bit of our Pritchard Hill Cabernet back out into them. So we're very close to the end. This has been a very high quality vintage. We thought it was going to be a high quality vintage. And so now we're finishing on uh, sunny days cold, bright, sunny days. So I think in the end, we've got a great vintage. I mean, really, they're charming wines. They have lots of color, kind of low tannin, softer wines, and with beautiful fruit character. So these are all the characters of a high quality vintage. So I, I think you'll hear a lot about this vintage in the future.